All right, y'all, so listen, when it comes to us and our lives, pretty much everything we do revolves around the internet. So how we work, how we operate, and how we maneuver as entrepreneurs is really based on our online activities. So based on this, needless to say, internet safety is by far one of the most important factors for us. There are so many things in today's world that are out of our control as parents. People who are trying to do our best raising them and do our best to protect them. We've downloaded Aura so that as our daughter gets older, we can take control of her online safety and protection on her devices. Or automatically request the removal of your information from people's search websites and data broker lists. Most importantly for me, they have parental control. At the ready so I can manage screen time and harm for websites are filtered. They can even monitor your bank account and credit lines to notify you of potential fraud up to 250 times faster than competitors. And if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a free two week trial with our link. Aura even has a one click VPN where you can browse, shop, and bank in peace knowing no one can gain access to your personal information. So if you're like us, check out Aura by going to www.aura.com slash Kyle and Jade. And start your free trial now to see how much of your information is online and start protecting yourself. And last but not least, we want to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. What, what up, though, KJ, KJ fam? fam? We back again with another banger. banger. <laughs> All right, y'all. So for today's video, we're going to go ahead and cut straight to the point because I know y'all probably read the title of this video. Make a long story short, we uh, just recently had STAR tested for autism. That is actually the primary reason why we've been on so long of a break. Yeah. Um, because due to all of the doctor's appointments, seeing specialists, um, getting referrals, and there are a lot of doctors and everything, they are booked months and months out. Um, it took us up until very recently for us to even get a legitimate answer. Also, by the fact that she's really young, it's extremely hard to test. That's the main reason why we've been in this, you know, kind of a kind of a funk and not really been one wanting to post and like talk about it because we wanted to make sure we got an answer first yes and going through the autism process um and going through the process of getting your child checked for autism is a very difficult and long process yeah there's so many doctors to talk uh, to talk to it's just very just very stressful it is it's stressful but at the same time um just as a disclaimer if she was i'm telling y'all right now we were prepared to do whatever it took in order to get her the right help. That was another reason why, like, we weren't just gonna sweep it under the rug. We were seeing signs. So we were like, let's just get it test get her test as early as possible. So that way we can get her the best help. That way she can be fully functional if that is the case. Um, once again, we didn't know. We were just being told, you know what I'm saying, things might things that she was doing may be a sign. But you know what I'm saying, it, it just took time for us to figure it out. And like as far as the things that she was doing that kind of alarmed us, I guess I would say. One of the main things was her not responding to her name all the time. How, like how many times, how many times out of 10 would you say that she was? I'd say at least two out of 10 times. Yeah, but like two out of 10 times she wasn't responding to her name. Once again, this was, she's 17 months now. Mm -hmm. This was a few months, like a few months ago, I would say that she wasn't, that she was responding like maybe two out of 10 times. So uh, another thing was that she was, she wasn't, she wasn't caught up on her milestones. To this day, she's actually still not walking. So yeah, those are just a few things uh, that we noticed. Um, and we just, I just want to give like a little bit of a disclaimer. Honestly, if she was autistic, we can definitely honestly say that if that was going to be her journey, then that was going to be her journey. We were prepared to do that, take on that journey with her. For us, it's always been about just getting her the best help that we can possibly get her. Even now, um, we, like the, the goal is always to, you know, make sure we get her up to speed and make sure that she is caught up as much as possible. My cousin's son has autism. He was actually, he actually lived with us when he was uh, first born. So when we first started, you know, trying to see if Star had autism or not, we were already prepared for what it would be like if she did have autism. And we just wanted to get her the best help as possible. Once again, it's not a negative thing. You know what I'm saying? No, not whatsoever. It's literally not a negative thing. There are plenty of brilliant people who are autistic. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if that is your journey right now, God gave you that for a reason. He only, he gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. So, you know, let that be a reminder to you as well. Basically, when we started to see these signs, that's when we was like, okay, so let's take her to the doctor. Like, let's get an expert opinion and see if are we tripping? Because we just, we're so on the fence. 
with everything. Um, we, we literally just did not know. So we decided to take her to a doctor and um, her actual doctor, her doctor who sees her all the time, he straight up said to us, no, she's not autistic. She, you know, she's, she's doing things that a normal baby would do. Like she's yeah. maintaining good, great eye contact. Um, she has, she has a strong sense of knowing like whether or not you guys are in the room. He deals with autistic children all the time. He's like, I don't believe she is, right? But he said, you can get another opinion. You can get an expert opinion. You can just be a C, a specialist. So that's what we did. And when we got to the specialist, we were honestly in the room, but five minutes before she... That wasn't even a specialist. That was just like a regular doctor too. Yeah. Like, but we was in the room, but yeah. five minutes before she said, yes, your daughter has autism. Literally. Like, not even, like, not, I'm sure not even five minutes. And she, for the five minutes, she didn't even, like, she wasn't even looking at Star. She was just asking us questions and, you know, we answered to the best of our ability. Um, but she had no interaction with Star. And of course, Star doesn't know her. So of course, Star was, you know, she wasn't the most, you know, uh, gracious towards her, you know, might I add, but she definitely did not get enough of an expert opinion to, to diagnose a baby within four minutes. But she gave us that answer that mm -hmm. she does have autism and she actually put it on her record, her file, mm -hmm. and she said, here I'm go a list away. of here go a list of places that you can send her to for help, which was physical therapy, speech occupational therapy. therapy, speech therapy, um, and uh, early on. Mm -hmm. So we literally called all of those places, put her name on a waiting list, and then we got in. Days. Yeah, so we literally had Star in speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. We literally had her in everything. And guys, this is time consuming. And like, I don't see oh how people God. with regular nine to five jobs who has, who does have children with autism, how do y'all keep up with all of these appointments? Because Man, it's if, a we lot. Didn't, if we didn't work from home, it, it's kind of like, it's, 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 it's a lot. It's a full-time job in itself, just going to doctor's appointments. The doctor's appointments, they're usually twice a week, yeah. only for 40 minutes. But it each, takes us 40 each, minutes to get each there. Each person like, is twice a week. Each person is twice so a week. She so has, yeah, if she has, if she has four it. doctors, guys, <laughs> you do the math. Do the math. That means we go into an appointment every single day. Yeah. So it, it was a lot. Exhibit yeah. A of why Kyle and Jade have not been posted. And none of these places are in our area. Mm -hmm. So we were literally driving to her therapy an hour, hour away, away and an, an hour, hour back. back. Yeah. And man, it was That's just three, four hours of your day gone. It was just a lot. Day. And I'm not complaining, but yeah. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that it was a lot. But it's we lot. were willing to get our daughter the help that she needed. So mm -hmm. we were sacri we sacrificed and we were taking her to all of these appointments. Yeah. Fast forward after after we did that for a bit. Um, so we had to wait for the official like um, testing or whatever to get done. Once again, everything was months out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We were waiting on the actual evaluation. We was like, let's, Kyle actually brought it up. He was like, let's put her on, in daycare. Let's see if, if something can make of like her going to daycare, her being around other kids, right? Because I'm hearing all of this feedback that she's mm -hmm. really not learning because She's not around, around any other yeah, kids. She's it's just, just her. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, let's put her around other kids, which is daycare. Yeah. And I feel like we found a pretty great daycare. Extremely And nice honestly, we put Star in there and she Literally. instantly. Instantly, within the matter of two weeks. Yeah, started was doing, doing way better. Everything. Literally, the only only milestone I feel like she's ish, that she is behind on right now it's is walking. walking. That's it. And she actually, she cruises the furniture, right? Yeah. She walks along the walls. She walks with her push toy. She just can't walk independently yet. But she literally does everything besides walk independently. She no. feeds herself. She feeds herself. She wasn't doing that before daycare. She's uh, responding to her so name. Responding to her name she's every playing, time. She's literally like playing with other kids. Playing, She actually got a best friend she in a, daycare. Yeah, His name does. is Lucas. Yep. <laughs> I got my eyes on you, Lucas. <laughs> a little boy. Yeah, she loves her. She yeah. loves him. Um, but uh, yeah, she done caught up with all baby. of these milestones. She's literally a completely different baby. Just <laughs> within Just a matter of a couple weeks weeks of yeah. daycare yeah now fast forward later she's a month into daycare and mm -hmm. man she's like doing amazing amazing which led us to her doctor is calling us mm -hmm. to actually give her that test yep the actual evaluation she, the actual evaluation yeah. for autism and, and man 
the the two people came over. It was a speech therapist, and mm-hmm. it was the actual person who did evaluation, who yes. like, was an autistic um, specialist. And she she specializes in in autism. She's been doing that for twenty five years, um, and she specializes in, in pretty much any delay that your child may have. Um, and she basically said, she told us all they, they, they basically said, like, what are we doing? Why here? y'all waste our time? They, they said, this they baby. Said, they said, this baby do not have autism. Yeah, right? yep. And instantly, we were just happy because... It's tough. It's, Once again, we were prepared for it. And yes. anybody who is dealing with it, we absolutely we only and i we, we couldn't imagine being in your shoes but we can also imagine being in your shoes because we did yes. it for months you know months. what i'm saying um and if that's your journey that's your journey that's fine but we were we were absolutely relieved like mainly for star not for us right yeah mainly for star does that make sense did i, did I say that right I hope so. Yeah, I'm not we're trying saying, to offend we're anybody. Saying, we're saying this like, with the best intentions. Like yeah, I said, absolutely. I have family members who have kids that have Literally, autism. Yeah. And it's by any means nothing bad or no. nothing wrong with them at all. At all. It's just one of those things where, you know. They just process things differently. Yeah, it's just, it's also too, it's just one of them things yeah. where, I mean, if the doc, if they would have said she does have autism, we mm-hmm. would have been like, okay, great. What do we have to do? Let, let's continue getting her the help that she mm-hmm. needs that we, we feel like would give her to strive in this world. Absolutely. But they, they said that she didn't have it. Mm-hmm. So now we're like, okay, great. So either way, yeah. if it was a yes or a no, we mm-hmm. would have been great. But either way, it was like, okay, now it's time to game plan. Yeah. But now that we have that answer, it's just like, okay, it's just a sign of relief. Right. It's a sign of relief. And it's like, okay, so now what do we have to do to get this girl walking? Yeah. Now, and even the um the day, the lady who owns the daycare, she even told she was like, my baby didn't walk till he was 18 months. I, my yeah. couple of my cousins, they babies didn't walk till they were 18 months at the end of the day you just have to know that every baby does things that are their own time and you cannot listen to what everyone else says society always tries to label kids at a extremely uh, like a, a super young age which is not fair to you is not fair to your kids and it gives we already have anxiety right and why we were ups, kind of ups, upset mm-hmm. about them saying that she doesn't have autism and they were so like Guys, she does not have autism like, for sure. For sure. Because yeah. we were just like taken back because the doctor who saw her for five who, minutes for five minutes labeled so quick labeled say, her like, with autism and put it on her file that she has autism. Yeah. And it's just like when we actually got the actual testing done, they yeah, said no. So it's just like, why are you labeling our daughter and you only was in the room with her for five, five minutes. minutes? Right. So it's just like that's that's one thing that we we just didn't like. Yeah. And even when the specialist came over and the speech therapist, they were like, she's they was like they was like she's doing all the things that a normal baby does. She even went up to the by the end of the um the evaluation, she was going up to the um, the therapist or whatever, literally like playing with her. She was just like engaging. She was, you know, it, it was just they did a lot of little tests whatever just to see how she reacted and it was just amazing to see like she that, that's not her story you know what i'm saying that's not her journey and they were able to see it and they were like yeah we see off the bat this girl mm. she's fine she just has what they would consider as a gross like motor delay yeah and really want to come on here and just ramble the entire time no nah, we but- wanted to let you guys know like yes we have been gone but we have been like real, going to doctor's real appointments life. every day, real like trying to get our daughter help. It's, it's really just a lot, honestly. Yeah. But we just wanted to come on here and catch you guys up with everything. Absolutely. And to just say like, I mean, it do feels good to be back. So. It feel good to be back. And we just want to give like some encouragement to, to, to all of our parents out here. Look, at the end of the day, we are all doing the best that we can. Like yeah. we are doing the best that we can. We doing what we can for our kids and Listen, we are with y'all. Like anybody who has a child who might might not necessarily be hitting all their milestones exactly when they're supposed to hit them, Mm -hmm. you're okay. You know what I'm saying? And if your child does have a delay, you're okay. You're gonna be okay. If your child is autistic or is on the spectrum, you're okay. You're gonna figure out a way to get through it. We with y'all, we get it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep each other lifted in prayer. And it is what it is. Let's just keep living life and doing what we can for our kids. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. We just wanted to come on here and give y'all a little life update. Yep. But we gonna see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.